Hello and welcome to Sports This Morning on your award-winning station, Channels Television. So great to be with you again to talk sports and it's going to be an interesting and exciting package as always. So please stay with us while we serve you all the juicy details. I'm yours truly, Ayotunde Balogun. Good morning and welcome. I'm Cecilia Omolbe. Good morning. Glad you could join us on the show today. I'm Taya Salam. All right, let's get the ball rolling, definitely. Yes, you already know what's on our minds. It's all about the World Cup qualifier for 2018. The Super Eagles are already getting set for the crunch clash with the Swaziland in Port Harcourt. And for the national team, it's nothing but victory. Three points at stake, they must get it. Otherwise, uh, who knows what will happen. Okay, they just have, okay, they are condemned to actually win this game. Condemned, All right, that's I'm talking the word. about yeah. the right man now. At the moment, the big man at the moment, uh, Golan Salami, he's the top scorer for this season's Nigeria Professional Football League. 17 goals. He scored two yesterday against Arba FC for him to actually overtake two. Tunde Adeniji. Tunde Adeniji was already on 16 and he was already thinking he's the top scorer. <sighs> but Bola Salami had to score two yesterday morning. And of course, right now, he has 17 goals, highest goal scorer of the season. Still on the show, Rafael Nadal is also a flyer at the ATP World Tour Finals, following a 6-3, 6-2 win over Stan Vavrinka in his round-robin round -robin opener. Rafael Nadal has never won this competition before. Um, a lot of people are written him off. He was last year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> last year. A lot of people are written him off. Chinasa was here yesterday saying he's not going to beat a top 10 player again. Mm -hmm. But what did he just do yesterday to Stan Babinka? Yeah. Easy win. Mm -hmm. I think he heard what Chinasa said and he <laughs> got to him and like, okay, I will show what I'm made of. I'll show what stuff I'm made of. It was in Babinka's day. He had like 35 on first errors. Yes. That's but then you have to understand that um, Nadal was on fire. Mm -hmm. um, overnight he was really on fire. He had a great game. And um, for you to actually write off, a fighter like Nadal, you must you be do so really at your own peril. Man. Exactly, yes. exactly. <laughs> but you can you can write him off when you're not playing against him, obviously. Yeah. Mm. You can also not a tennis player. So can... All right. Well, All right. Right. Like, we'll I, I think that. he was actually looking at the fact that at the US Open, remember, since the US Open, he has actually won about 14 games in. 14 matches, yes, mm -hmm. in 18 that he has played. And Fognini was the man who sent him out. He was looking at that, you know, that situation or that scenario. And the last time yeah. both of them has met, talking about Stad Vavrinka, of course, himself, you know, the last four times Vavrinka has won three times. So mm. when you look at the stats, I'm talking about recently, yeah, recently where I mean, yeah. Vavrinka actually got the edge. So mm. he was looking at that stat and saying, okay, now that look, ATP tour finals is usually not his best. Mm. Exactly. But when on the tournament, he could be at his best. best. But when it comes to ATP, Tour finals is always difficult. Mm. I think well, that's we'll what we're to. We definitely get to talk <laughs> exactly. more about that. But my uh, my own um, okay. talking point for me definitely will have to be the World Cup qualifier. Uh, definitely, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about much that later, much yes. later. Yes. Much Save later. It. Let's not let yes. Let's not let the cat out of the bag yet as it concerns the World Cup finals. Okay. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But definitely the Super Eagles. Uh, something interesting coming out of the River State government. Okay, uh, tell me about it. Uh, well, it's some kind of incentive, really, if you want to look at it um for every goal scored they've been promised uh, guess what twenty thousand dollars give me the money please wow. i'm like <laughs> is that real that's did i hear that well like 20 uh, like for every not even not for a, a, a whole victory but for each goal scored and you, you'd be like ah, how is that gonna happen i mean it can it's happen it's, it's not as if it can it yeah it will happen how, how, how but i don't get what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> it will happen, of All course. The Super Eagles definitely have to score, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. They need to yeah. score so to win this game. So, that's so for thing. every player, and I mean, how many players? Yeah, 11 it's, players? It's, it's, it's definitely not going to get... It's a, it, the penalties will not be added to it. That's if he ended goalless and you okay, have to go through penalties. penalties. Yeah. I'm oh sure dear. it will definitely oh not be it. Okay. But it could be, if you're able to score at regulation time, two, three, four goals, I mean, if, you, if, you, if they're able to get four goals, mm -hmm. is that like how many? $80,000? $80, $80, Qualifying for the World Cup is, um, is enough motivation mm -hmm. for a lot of professionals. It's just players. to get into the group stage. Yeah, exactly. yeah, to this get is the not the group stage. Yeah. It's a stage. Start. Okay, it's a start. If you don't go past the stage now, then you have no chance of actually qualifying for mm. Europe, Russia 2018. So what I was going to say is um, qualifying for the World Cup, it's enough incentive for professional mm. players. But so when you're you thinking had, perhaps it's too early to start when, having money? No, 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 no. Spare. When you now have 20 thousand dollars on top of that <laughs> motivation now what do you expect from um, from the nigerian players to okay. <laughs> All right. yeah All right. remember a couple of days ago we had uh, uh, one of our own jonathan akiemi uh, i guess that was last week where he was talking about uh, his qualification for the rio 2016 olympics well we want to take it a little bit further now uh, to see uh, what uh, can be done 
you know, in terms of promoting the sport to see that we get to uh, the next level. And of course, we have our guest who joins us uh, live on the show today to talk more about uh, the sport. He's none other than the president of the Nigeria uh, Rowing Canoe and uh, Sailing Federation, uh, talking about Rear Admiral uh, Festus Porbeni, retired, who joins us uh, right about now. It's so great to have you on the show. You're welcome to Sports This Morning. Good morning. All right, uh, perhaps uh, uh, we can start by congratulating, of course, uh, you uh, as a president on the feet of uh, uh, Jonathan Akiemi and, of course, uh, uh, Chirika Okwogu, who will be representing uh, Nigeria at the Rio uh, Olympics in their various events, uh, rowing for uh, uh, Chirika and, of course, uh, uh, canoeing for uh, Jonathan. Uh, how did it all come about? I mean, what are the preparations uh, to ensure that uh, uh, these top two athletes, you know, do the nation proud in, in Rio? Uh, my channel, first and foremost, I must thank you so much for all what you are doing for rowing, sailing, and canoeing. You helped us to advertise the, the team and the game. You know, it's a water sport and it's a hidden sport, not as, not, not as popular as sport you see all over the place. And you have helped us to make it popular for us. Thank you so much. Uh, our preparation for, for qualifying, we are so happy to have two athletes from Nigeria to fly our flag at the Olympics. The fact is, we have to ensure that we make sure people uh, get together to help us, sponsors, and the major thing is finance. And we're trying to get it through sponsors and friends who can help us to take them further than what it is now. Okay, now, talking about the athletes, of course, that qualified, how do you actually intend to organize more championships for them? Because it's not just enough for them to qualify for the Olympics. They need more championships for them to actually ensure that at least they get on the podium. Uh, thank you, Cecilia. That's the fact. Uh, as of now, they need some exposure. They need some coach, boats, training. And for that, we are seeing that, uh, for example, Sherika in uh, America needs a boat, $10,000. To get that $10,000 is what we're trying to get now. And then not only that, the training must continue. Qualifying is just one, but the major thing is the training to go ahead to get to the, post, uh, the podium. In that case, we hope that we shall get the necessary training we are looking for. All right, uh, uh, President, uh, let's even talk about the issue of, of funding. Uh, I know that has been a big challenge uh, for the Federation in, in recent uh, past. Um, Aside, you know, calling for sponsorships and all of that, what really do you think has been the other challenge or challenges? Uh, why do you think that the popularity of the sport hasn't really hit home uh, compared to others? Is that the re main reason, you know, the issue of funding? What can be done? Not necessarily, not, not only funding, but even the area. You know, the water sports is something that you do only in some areas, like uh, we have water bed. For example, we're trying to make sure in just we popular, popularize it uh, by making a program there. We have done it in Jabi Lake in Abuja, now taking to uh, to Jos. And luckily, the the governor of uh, Plateau State has graciously agreed to fund the 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 next event uh, coming up end of this month. Uh, the major challenge is uh, it's not a sport that people want to go in. You can take football anywhere you play football, but for rowing and canoeing, you must be you must have the water body. We have a canoe, we have a paddle. For you can do, they may know how to swim for if you go into the water. Those are all the little challenges you have. But all the same, we hope that if you are popular very soon, like the way you are helping us to popularize it, make people know about a canoe. Some places say canoe, this is what is even canoe? It looks strange to them. But thank God, gradually people are getting to know it. Like this sort of program you are doing for us, we're very grateful for it. <laughs> 